The eyes of the whole world are attentive to what is happening in China. Authorities and the world's populations are apprehensive about a new outbreak, the coronavirus. Very little is known about it, but it is enough for the world to be alert. A whole city with more than 11 million people has been completely isolated, and 46 million are in quarantine. The images are worrying. People are desperate to be attended to in the hospitals. The corridors are full. The government is running against the clock to build a hospital with 1,000 beds in six days to assist the victims of the coronavirus. This nurse accuses the country of hiding the real number of infections. And according to her, it is more than 90,000 people. Impressive footage from China's social media, which has gone viral, shows people passing out on the streets. This problem is already spread across the Asian continent, and many countries are confirming their first cases. When the night comes, we are not afraid because we have been told that at this particular time of the day, night will come, and at this particular time tomorrow, there will be a daybreak. So we are not afraid because if the night comes, we know there would be a daybreak. Today, there is nothing that makes men to fear or to tremble than the fear of unknown. Men are always afraid of things that they don't know about, things that they don't know when it will end, things that they don't know how it comes. And it is no longer news that this epidemic virus is waxing strong all over the world. Today in Asia, in Europe, in America, including Africa, there have been cases of this epidemic disease called coronavirus. And people have been raising fear and they have been fear trembling all around. Religious people have been losing faith in God because they are asking what is God saying in this situation. Many people are asking what has the Bible foretold about this present situation? Is God really on our side? Why does God allow these sufferings or these diseases to strive to grow and to kill people? Is God no longer a loving God? Today, I want you to watch this video I will bring to you. Then at the end of the video, there are three verses of the Bible that are stipulated there. Then we'll look into it. Let's see what the Bible says about this virus. At the beginning of 2020, the Apocalypse Watch, which was created by a group of scientists, was ahead of this and indicates 100 seconds to the end of the Earth. The predominant factors are the risk of a war, environment and climate changes. All that is happening is nothing more than signs revealed by the Lord Jesus 2,000 years ago. Then he said to them, nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be great earthquakes in various places and famines and pestilences. All these are the beginning of sorrows. It is not known how all this will end, but one thing is certain, the end is close. And the question is, are you investing in your eternal salvation? Where will your soul go? Don't ignore the signs. The king is coming back. It is very obvious that these have been predicted in the Bible. And you know what? God is our creator. He said that he will never let us down. He said that he have a thought of good and not for evil for us. Since he is a manufacturer, I think we have to take Sundays in him. 
He is our refuge. We don't have to panic. We don't have to be afraid because he knows everything. He knows the beginning and he knows the end. So he has a plan for us. Everything that is going on is what God knows. Therefore, why should we be afraid? There is no cause to panic. Let us put our trust and faith in God.